CBS The Bold and the Beautiful spoilers reveal that the relationship between Quinn and Eric has not been as passionate as before. Perhaps Quinn felt that her betrayal had caused Eric to develop guilt. That's why Quinn decided to give Eric a surprise gift to rekindle their feelings. Quinn hopes that after her efforts, Eric will char change his cold attitude. The two of them hadn't been intimate with each other for a long time. But Quinn didn't know that Eric's cold attitude was for another reason. I wonder if after witnessing Quinn's efforts, Eric probably feels guilty or not. Probably because Eric is having a secret relationship with Donna. At first, it seemed to be because Quinn wanted to report, but it was clear that Eric was not the faithful type. He promised to forgive Quinn, but look what he's doing. Does Eric want to confess to Quinn? Meanwhile, Carter and Paris are very much in love, but Carter has no choice but to break up with Paris. Grace warned Carter, and he really couldn't risk it all to be with Paris. Carter took the initiative to leave Paris, but Paris did not want to accept this outcome. It seemed that she wanted to hold on to Carter, but did not expect this decision to bring a lot of trouble. Carter, after letting go of her feelings for Paris, looked to Quinn for sincere advice. Of course, once Quinn understood Carter's problem, she told him not to worry. Even if Paris wanted to annoy Carter or make him upset, Quinn would be the one to come to terms with it. Carter will understand Quinn as a wonderful woman for always helping him through difficulties. When Deacon learned that Sheila intended to go to Steffi's cliff house to meet Hayes, he tried his best to stop Sheila. This is a sensitive time for Steffi, so it's better for Sheila to wait patiently. However, Sheila didn't want to listen to Deacon. Perhaps Sheila was too subjective because she thought that Steffi did not remember clearly what happened in the alley. That's right, Steffi doesn't know Sheila is the one who shot Finn and injured her, but everything is about to change when Sheila appears in front of Steffi. Thanks to this shock, Steffi regained his lost memories. She saw Finn fall before her eyes after Sheila shot. But for the time being, Steffi would not reveal any clues that would make Sheila suspicious, especially when she was alone against Sheila. When things calmed down, Steffi contacted Ridge and Taylor came to her house immediately. Steffi wants to come up with a plan for Sheila to confess to all the crimes she has committed. To do it, Steffi needs the help of Ridge and Taylor. Besides, Police Baker is also standing outside in case Sheila escapes. This time must make Sheila no longer have a way back. Of course, first Steffi would have to lure Sheila to her without any precaution. The most logical reason would be for Sheila to meet Hayes. Steffi invites Sheila to his house to reunite with Hayes, and both Ridge and Taylor are there. Sheila was overjoyed when she didn't expect Steffi to forgive her and give her a chance to meet her grandson. However, what awaits Sheila at home are accusations from Steffi. Both Ridge and Taylor burst into anger when Sheila caused bad behavior to their own daughter and son-in-law. This time, Steffi was even more cautious. She knows Sheila will likely run away after her crimes are exposed. Steffi predicted it, so he told Baker to ambush around to grab Sheila. Did Sheila run away this time?